All right, good morning to you. I hope you're all doing well. Very good. We want to continue from where we got in last time and uh, decimal fractions. All right, so last time we learned how to change from decimals, from fractions to decimals. Today we are going to learn how to change from fractions to percentages. We all learned that percentage means out of 100, right? Very good. So, in order to change from a fraction to a percentage, you yeah, guess how to multiply the fraction by 100. So, the following example that you are going to work will explain it better for you to understand. All of this clear. Good. Now, let's take the first example. I have 4 over 5, which I want to change this 4 over 5 to a percentage. So, I have 4 over 5, I will multiply it by 100. Then, you get an answer in percentage. So, we can cancel if you want to cancel, we can use it. Know that 5 can go here 1, then 5 will go into 120. I hope it is clear. Good. Now, 4 times 20 will give us what? 80. Then add a percentage sign to it. That means you have changed from this fraction to a percentage. I hope it is clear. Good. Let's go to the next example. I have 8 over 5, which I want to change it to what? Percentage. So I have 8 over 5 multiplying 100. Alright. As you just did for the first part, you can also cancel like 5 goes here, 1, then 5 goes into 120. Then we just multiply it. 8 times 20 gives us 160 in terms of percent. And putting our answer as 160 percent. That means we have changed from what percent uh, fraction to percentage. Let's take the last example. If I have 4 over 6 into percentage. So I have 4 over 6 times 100. We can break it down here. 2 goes here, maybe 2, 2 go here, 3. Then we multiply 2 times 100, we get what? 200 over 3. We don't leave an answer in this way, we change it to decimal so that we can write it as percentage. So maybe 3, 3 divided by 200. You do it some words. Maybe you know that 3 cannot go into 2, so add the next number to it. Maybe 3, 6 gives us 18, which I'll subtract, I'll get to add this number to it. 3, 6 again gives us 18. I subtract this, I put a decimal and add 0. It give me 3, 6 again, another 18. It will be occurring, so we end it on 66, let's say 0 0.6, maybe percent. Then we get our answer in percentage. So you see that any time that there's a fraction, make sure you change that answer to what percentage. I hope it is clear. Very good. So you will get your works, then you send it to your WhatsApp line.